Hello everyone, I'm Udhi here from your target common YouTube channel and this video will be continuation to Karate Framework playlist. In this video, we will learn to define global variables and environment variables in Karate Framework. In a Java based framework, generally we use a property file or a JSON file to define some configuration variables. These variables are meant to use throughout our program. Maybe which browser you want to use, what is the application URL, some application specific data, some environment specific data and all. Same thing we can achieve in Karate framework as well. But here we have a little different way. Instead of using property file or a JSON file, we use a JavaScript file. If you create your Karate framework using the quick Karate archetype, then you will have already one Karate-config.js file. So one thing you need to understand that this file is null. If I remove this file, then also my features will learn perfectly fine. Another point you need to understand, this configuration file will be called for every scenario of the feature file. This JavaScript file should contain a method. So if you want to define a function in JavaScript, we need to use the function keyword, then you need to give a name. You can give any name here. These lines of code are coming by default because I created the Karate framework using the Karate Quick Start archetype. So here we have something called Karate.env. This is predefined variable. If you want to set up in which environment you want to run your feature files, it may be QA, UAT, whatever environments you have, you can run it. So this env you can pass through command line. If you don't pass any value to env, then default it will be dev. Here you can put anything, whatever default environment you want to have, you can have. And here it is simply logging which environment you have passed. If you have not passed, then it will show null. Then we have a JSON object. The name of that JSON object is given as config. You can give any name. So here actually we have defined this variable. So in JavaScript we need to use var keyword. And this is the key value pair. So this config JSON object currently holding a variable called env. So whatever value we are passing for env, that will be stored in this variable. Here we have simple if as logic. If the environment is dev, then you can define some environment specific variables. Here you can have any environment name. Maybe for QA you want to have some different set of values. For pre or UAT you can have different set of values. The return type of this function will be config. Means whatever JSON object we have created, the same thing we are returning. So here we don't need to define any return type like Java. So this is a very basic structure of Karate config file of Karate framework. If I take this create feature file, here I am passing the URL hard coded. And the same URL I am using here also, here also means every scenario I am using the same URL. If I want to change, then I need to go and modify every place. So I can store this URL in my config file. I will simply copy this value. I'll go to my config JSON object, give the comma. You can give any name, maybe create airline URL colon and give the value in the double quotes or single quotes. And instead of using the hard coded URL in feature file, I can use this variable. Please note here, I'm not using any single quote or double quote to use this variable because I'm expecting this variable should be present in my Karate configuration file. Similarly, I can put it here as well. Suppose if you want to print and use the print, let you put something URL is use comma or a plus whatever you want to use, you can use and you can use the variable directly. Let me run this scenario. We have printed the URL and this is a value it is reading from my config file. If you see this config file here we have one logger statement karate.log and it is saying that karate.env system property was and if you see the value for env is null because we have not passed this variable from command line and previously i mentioned that karate configuration file will be executed for every scenario of the feature file let me run this entire feature file and show you whether it is calling the configuration file for each scenario or not so total we have five scenarios in my feature file if i go line by line so this was for the first scenario then if you come down after all the logger statement you can see it is printing again and same thing you can find for another scenario as well but suppose i want to have some variable based on my environment so whatever variable we define for environments we need to make so that that variable should be added to this json object so to add the new key in the json object i need to use config then give the variable name maybe some var and you can pass the value so this statement will add a new key to this config json object and i will have the same variable for the e2e i am not changing the environment name here you can change anything as per your requirement so the simple logic here we have if the environment is dev then the value will be dev some var for this variable if it is e2e then it should be e2 is somewhere and I am going to print this variable in my feature file. So I will write and print 
If no environment is passed, then I want to use dev. Let me run this scenario. Let me show you which value it takes. So here you can see the carte.env was null. So by default, we will use the dev environment. And for the dev environment, we have the variable value as dev some word. So it is printing here. If I change default environment from dev to e2e, and if I rerun my scenario, then it will consider the value for the e2e environment. So you can see the value is e2e somewhere. If I want to pass the environment value from command line, then we need to use the exactly this variable name at the command line. Let me show you. So I will go to run configuration and click on edit configuration. Use the plus sign. Select maven. You can give any name. So here I need to pass the maven command because I am using the maven build tool here. So I need to use the test since I need to pass the environment value at runtime. For that I need to use hyphen capital D. Use the karate.env. This is predefined. I cannot change it here and give the value. So here I am passing dev. Let me click on apply. OK and run. Since I am not using any tag. So it will run all the features file present in my project. So here you can see it is printing using system property karate.env equal to dev. It is printing karate.env system property was dev. Now you can ask I may need to pass some additional parameters from command line then how can we do here we have one predefined for environment what about some custom one because that is very obvious you may need to find different parameters at command line so that is also possible here for an example suppose I want to pass the user type from the command line then you can define one variable here user type use the colon and here and to use karate dot properties and give the variable name whatever you want to use maybe user type only and now this variable I can pass from my command line I need to follow the same concept hyphen capital D user type and some value so this value admin will be stored in user type variable let me click on apply okay and I can use this variable in my scenario let me run so here you can see we are passing the environment dev and then it is printing the user type as admin. Even you can use the user type variable without storing in the config file as well. Just need to use the same statement whatever you are using in the config file. Same thing you need to use in scenario. So I will comment this. So whatever value I am passing through maybe in command line that will not be stored in my configuration file and that value I am directly using in my scenario. So let me run the features using the maven command line. So the execution is completed and you can see here we are getting one error reference error. User type is not defined. Here I am printing the user type. Earlier we were storing this variable in my configuration file. If it is not finding this variable, then it will give the error. That will call reference error. The same we are getting here. User type is not defined. I will rerun the. So here in the console, you can see user type direct admin. That's all in this video. If you have any doubt, please comment on this video. If you really like my videos, please like, comment, subscribe and share with others. Thank you everyone.